Hey guys, Justin here from Howling Moments, uh, standing here with our 2014 JKU uh, Superwolf. And uh, I just wanted to send out an update video on the new uh, Cobalt Mud Terrain from Interco. Uh, so we've just rolled over 25,000 miles, which is about 40,000 kilometers. And so I just wanted to give a status update on, uh, on how they're holding out uh, in terms of tread wear. And um, I hope you guys can hear me alright, it's kind of windy in this location here. But uh, so we're just on the tail end of this uh, crazy winter season up here in Ontario, Canada. Uh, we also uh, we did run uh, the Cobalts throughout the winter, and uh, even though it's a dedicated mud terrain tire, they did uh, hold out surprisingly well uh, through the snow and the slush and the ice. So uh, I think we're just going to keep running them uh, throughout next winter as well. So uh, let's pull out the uh, Vernier and uh, take a look at some uh, tread wear. Forty thousand kilometers. Okay guys, so we're going to take our measuring tool here and we're going to zero it out. I don't know how clear that's coming through, but keep in mind this isn't the most exactly the most expensive measuring tool, but we're going to take our reading here at the deepest point of the tread and to the outermost point of the lug and see where we're coming at here. So 63,128 half inch Let's see if I can get it to come in at a 30 seconds of an inch here 3364 it's kind of bouncing around oh there we go 15 30 seconds and if I can lock this in here and I'll bring the camera in for a closer look so we're coming in at 15 30 seconds of an inch this is on the driver's side rear um, and this is after uh, 40,000 kilometers uh, let me just bring it in so we can take a closer look okay so the basis for our measurement here uh, basically the deepest point of the tread or the, the carcass of the tire measuring to the outermost point of the lug and so this is where we have the vernier locked in and the measurement that we're getting is 15 30 seconds of an inch uh, and of course this is after 40,000 kilometers uh, or 25,000 miles uh, worth of tread wear I believe uh, Interco's uh, manufacturing spec on this tire is 22 30 seconds of an inch so that uh, is looking pretty darn good to me in terms of uh, tread wear okay so on the front let's take a look so this is passenger side uh, front tire so we're gonna zero out the tool again and let's take a look and see what's happening on the passenger side so we're gonna measure to the deepest point of the tire carcass and to the outermost point of the lug and let's see what kind of a number we get so 61 128 31 60 fourths and I'm just trying to get it to zero out on uh, or give me a value in 30 seconds of an inch so here we 15 30 seconds so we're getting the same result here on the uh, this is the passenger front tire and so we're getting the same result 15 30 seconds okay so quick status uh, report on tread wear for the new uh, Interco Cobalt MT um, so with our trusty measuring tool here at the side of the road this of course is a field report um, Interco has a manufacturing spec of 22 30 seconds of an inch on this tire uh, we checked driver's side rear, passenger side front. We got 15, 30 seconds of an inch uh, result on both of those tires. We've been rotating them every 10,000 kilometers. Of course, it's a directional tire. So again, front to back, uh, very impressive uh, so far. It's been a great tire. So based on our tread wear and what the manufacturing spec is, uh, we've lost about a third uh, of our tread depth in 40,000 kilometers. And that's uh, pretty impressive to me. So. Looking forward to uh, running these tires for the next, uh, you know, one or two years throughout the next Canadian winter. 
Uh, we're running about 30 PSI on the street here for the JKU and airing down to anywhere from 12 to 15 PSI on the trails. Uh, no bead lockers, haven't had any is issues so far with airing down. Uh, great tire overall. So um, if anyone has any more questions about the tire, uh, just leave a comment on the video and I'll get right back to you. And uh, so actually we're just up here at one of the trailheads in uh, Northern Ontario. Uh, if anyone wants to check out some, uh, some wheeling videos uh, about the Jeep experience, uh, check out Howling Moments on YouTube and uh, hope to see you guys on the trail soon. Cheers.